Greetings everybody, it's Brother Stewart here, back to Baba Videos. I just want to be prompt with this announcement. I received word from one of my beloved brothers in the Lord about a situation that is arising You know, the Bible says, prove all things. And um, the word of God is being fulfilled like the word of, like, like it's going to be. The epistle of Jude says, in the last days, it's going to be mockers walking after their own lusts. And the apostle Paul warned the brethren about two men by the name of Hymenius and Philetus who concerning the truth have erred saying the resurrection is past already and overflow the faith of some we're in these days folk if you, in Jamaica there was this this deceiver calling himself something that he's clearly not and deceive a lot of people and folks have died And there's groups around in here in the GTA in Canada saying Jesus is already here. And you know our Lord Jesus said all this? He said, if anyone say he's in the desert, don't go after him. If he's in the secret place or he's here, don't go after him. Glory to God. Jesus told us this. His word has to be fulfilled. About a great falling away, it's going to happen. The, the devil know that his time is short and is, as as to use a boxing boxing analogy he ain't pulling no punches so be aware folks ask God to open your ears open your eyes if any if the apostle John said if any bring not this doctrine glory to God don't bid him God speed or even let him in your house for he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deed. So don't you can't say God bless you. Oh, peace be unto you. Or give some kind of salutation of endorsement of their wickedness. Glory to God. If you repented of your sins and was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins according to the word of God. You have been baptized correctly. Now someone come to you say, oh, you needed, to know, you needed to know this or you needed to know that. So since you didn't know this or know that, you have to be rebaptized. Wait, the Bible says he, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will lead you and guide you to all truth. You get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you. You wait for the promise of the Father. And once you get the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you into all truth. How can you understand all truth if you don't have the Spirit to lead you into all truth? Now, some that got back, as we see with the house of Cornelius, they received the Holy Spirit first. And they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of the sins because that completes glory to God the new birth and after hearing the word that the word which the seed get into your heart and to strip away all the customs all the teachings all the culture the lies and the deceptions and you desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby you begin to understand more of who Jesus Christ is glory to God that he is God God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is Jesus Christ. When you desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow back, you understand that the, the pieces start to make more sense. Your understanding is open. Things will be more clear. You don't have that clarity right away. Hallelujah to God. I'm, I, my God, by the grace of God, I've been in the, in the Lord. The Lord saved me at the age of 19. I turned, I turned 44 next, this coming, next month. 
and I'm still understanding deeper mysteries and, and, and wonderful things about our Lord. Glory to God. So what? Which I'm not. Don't you, don't you dare bring that foolishness to me. Oh, you didn't understand all this. So you have to, man, stop it. <laughs> so be warned, folks. Many, many f false prophets have gone out into the world and deceiving many. Take heed. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Peace be unto you.